Hey guys, I wanted to take you through one of our standby recipes that we make, I would say, every other week, sometimes every week. And this is one of the recipes that is in my keto cookbook. This is our turkey taco roll. Sometimes it's beef taco bowl. And as you can see here, this is one of the things I love about everything in my keto cookbook is everything is made with basic, what I think are staples in most people's uh, refrigerators and in their pantries. Easy peasy to make, easy peasy uh, ingredients to buy, and easy peasy to put together. You'll see that this is something that you can you know, snap together. I think I made this actually. My husband's under the weather. I'm a little bit under the weather. I think I put this whole thing together honestly in 15-20 minutes and that's what I love about it. So you can see here I'm throwing in our brand new caraway pans that we love. Uh, I got so much crap for cooking in a <laughs> in an old seasoned, overly seasoned pan by our place before. So all of you people that gave me crap, please be happy. We have these new fancy caraway pans that I'll put the link below. You guys have to get a set of caraway. So you brown your ground turkey first and we do add, you'll see here coming up shortly, we do add um, taco seasoning. Sometimes we'll use Flavor God, sometimes we'll use just a packet of whatever your favorite ground, or excuse me, whatever your favorite um, taco seasoning is. And again, you can make this recipe with beef, with turkey, you could even make it with ground chicken, whatever your preference is. But all you're gonna do is cook the turkey, obviously. I let this get a little bit too brown on the bottom. Um, you can tell that I was busy filming while I was doing this tonight. Um, but what are you gonna do? You just go with it. And, and actually, I like things when they tend to be a little bit crispy and browned on the bottom, so I was okay with it. Add in your seasoning here, and then again, you're gonna see what I'm using up next is this meat chopper thing. I don't really know what you call it, but if you guys don't have one of these things to chop up when you're doing ground meat, ground chicken, ground pork, whatever, you need it. Um, I added a little bit more olive oil because uh, it looked a little dry. And then you're gonna add your Rotel. I live by Rotel, I swear by it. You definitely wanna drain the Rotel first, otherwise you're gonna have a soupy mess. You put that on the top, and then you're kind of gonna just let that sit for a minute, and then you're gonna add your Mexican style cheese. Doesn't this start to look good? And then I add a little bit of extra seasoning. I live by this Lowry's garlic salt, it's the only garlic salt I use, and then I top it all off with, as well, some onion powder, because you've already added enough salt and you'll get some salt from uh, the meat as well. Then you're gonna cover it just enough time to let that um, cheese melt. Once that's melted, um, while I'm over here at the counter I'm chopping up romaine lettuce and what you're gonna do is you're layering bowls now you could make this into tacos if you wanted because I'm keto we've made them into bowls so we put lettuce on the bottom and then I've got rice cooking in the rice cooker over on the counter <clears throat> excuse me um, and yes I do have rice when I'm on keto I just limit the amount of rice that I have but we just make layered bowls so we put um, the lettuce on the bottom, then we put rice next, then we put the meat mixture on top of that, and then we put toppings like green onions, avocado, I put sour cream on mine, my husband doesn't like sour cream, cilantro, um, and really that's about it. Um, that's really all you need, and then you kind of just eat it as one big bowl. Again, if you wanted to, you could make this as, um, you know, with soft tacos, um, you know, egg life tortillas. We like it as a bowl. And again, you could substitute, and we've definitely made this with beef and liked it. We definitely like it with turkey. Um, it is absolutely delicious, super fast to make. And then as you can see here, he and I both will take about a quarter of this bowl and then it leaves us with two servings for the next day. So we've got lunch for the next day and it is really good heated up the next day for lunch. I just put some, oh, you could put jalapenos on the top of this too. So I'll just put some jalapenos, look at that. Good to go, you need this in your life, you're welcome. Get my keto cookbook, link is down below. Ask me any questions, I'm here to help you guys. Thanks for tuning in.